Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Botanicus. From Hudson Gluck. Yes. This game plays two to four players and plays in, according to the box, 45 to 60 minutes. Nice. So if you enjoy um, drafting action selection. Yeah, um, I do. And ba which is basically a worker placement sort of thing uh, where the actions are different every round, nice. then you will more than likely... It really enjoy Botanicus. Yeah, not to mention uh, it's a beautiful game. That's right. I love it. Let's take a look. So, were we provided this? Yes. From Hans M. Gluck? Yes. Thanks, we Hans M. Gluck, for providing us this copy of Botanicus. But they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They gave it to us because they know we like to play all, all the games. games. So, let's go ahead and uh, check out the, how beautiful this game is while I teach you all the rules. Yay! So, there uh, inside the box is the base game and the expert game. Uh, we did play uh, the base game, the, the basic game, the first time we played. And if uh, you want to do the same, make sure that all the bright green goes right through our... Uh, our uh, green screen. Make sure that your player boards are turned to the little plant side like this. Uh, if you want to play the expert game, make sure that your player board and the main game board are turned to the little Venus flytrap side, like so. Um, you will see on the player board, uh, on the game board, where it is up here in the upper right hand corner. So, um, we are going to play the expert version of the game here, uh, but first I will explain the base version. I've got my base uh, garden right here, turn to the base game side. And uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do uh, is to uh, place all your five animals just in a supply next to the board. You've got a butterfly and a bird. And a tortoise, hold on, what do we have here? Uh, a squirrel, a tortoise, a bird, a butterfly, and a frog. Cute little wooden tokens. Um, and you have to sort out the 16 flower tiles. Uh, some of them have little spots on them. And some of them have stripes on them. There's also a dark and a light side on each. You want to turn them all to the light side and place the spotted ones on the first two rows and the striped ones on the bottom two rows. Uh, afterwards, you need to sort out the prize tokens by shape. Uh, you've got round ones and square ones. Um, in a three-player game, you're going to return the highest value prize token uh, to the box. And in a two-player game, you're going to remove the two highest value tiles of each deck to the box. Then you're going to place them uh, from highest to lowest with the highest on top. And then you are going to place uh, the one on top into the ready position so that whoever lands here is going to get this token. Now, this is uh, the expert side of the game board, but the base game will look very similar. Uh, they've just got some, there's some extra uh, things on the expert side that's not on the base side. Um, you're also going to shuffle the 18 uh, garden cards, uh, placing them in a face down pile. Those are the ones that look like this. Um, imagine everything having green on it. <laughs> As you can see, the green screen um, really picks that up. Uh, if you are playing with the optional final scoring cards, um, then you can you can even use these in the basic game. They recommend that uh, it is used. Uh, you have to use it with the expert variant, um, but you can actually include these with the base game. So we've got those shuffled up as well. You're going to sort out all the plants by level. The plants don't have anything particular on uh, the reverse side, so just sort them all by level. Um, level one plants um, basically grow 
Uh, when you water them, they grow to a level two plant, then a level three plant, and finally to a level four plant uh, when it's fully watered. So um, for your personal setup, you're going to shuffle up the 20 special tasks, which look like this, and you're going to deal five to each player. Um, reveal the tasks and place them next to your garden. And you'll, you will need to assign these to each of these rows. Now you'll notice, actually all of mine um, can be done with three plants or less. Um, you'll notice that this takes uh, one level two plant and two level four plants. Some uh, of these special tiles require four. Actually, Steph got lucky too and did not get any that required four. Mm -hmm. However, uh, some of them do require four. Notice that there's no way that you could plant plants in these empty spots and have it have four plants because you've only got three plants on each of these rows. So you do not want to assign uh, a special task with four plants on it to a row that can only uh, receive three plants. So you're going to place each of these into a row. Um, you're also going to place one gardener on your fountains here, one gardener on the scoring track, your hoe or shovel right uh, here, your wheelbarrow here, and your gold bag up here on the first space of all of these. So, um, in the basic game, you will not need your second gardener, so you can return them to the box. However, in the expert game, you will need the second gardener. Um, finally, you are going to stack your flower pieces based on how you see it on your game board. So if I had this game, this player board, you will notice that my playing piece would go second to the top, unless we're only playing two or three players, in which case it might actually go on top. Or it might go on the on the bottom if Steph's had if Steph has the uh, top layer that is dark. Um, on my player board over here, uh, my third row is dark. My third flower is dark down here in the bottom corner. Steph's top flower is dark. So my flower is going to go underneath hers in this little starting space. Um, for a two-player game, you are going to take a neutral colored plant and place it, uh, I believe it's on top of all of them. Is that correct, Steph? Do you remember? I'm, uh, I'm looking remember. for the Sorry. I'm looking look. for the two player rule, but uh do, 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 do. I do not uh, um yes, take one of the spear flowers, place it on top of the stack. Yes. So um <laughs> as you see, your garden consists of rows and columns of flower beds. Um, whenever you plant. Uh, you can plant plants on the flower beds that are surrounding where your gardener is. Um, your gardener is going to move through the garden, and the only plants that the guard that uh, can be affected are the ones that are directly diagonal uh, from your gardener. So. Um, as you see, these are your basic tasks. Um, and whenever you have completed uh, this basic task, for example, once I have finished three level one plants in this row, I'm going to get seven points immediately. And then I'm going to cover it with this special task. When I finish this special task, I will get even more points. And then I will flip this over, showing that everyone is super happy with my garden. Go work. So that is a really good way of scoring points is by completing your basic and special tasks. Um, so um, the person who is going to go first 
is going to be based on the flower that is at the top. And what I mean by at the top is it is either at the top of a column or at the top of the stack. If for some reason uh, flowers are stacked one on top of the other, as they are here. Um, whenever uh, you're playing in a two player game, remember we've got this additional flower sitting here. This is a neutral flower. It does, it is going to occupy a flower space. The player who is first to take their turn gets to place the neutral flower on a flower space of their choice, and then they're going to take their own turn. So, um, in this case, Steph is going to get to place the neutral one, and then Steph can place her own. So, um, and then I am going to get my pick of whatever is left over after Steph and the neutral player have both placed into this column. So, uh, let's say that Steph just puts the neutral one here, and then Steph jumps down here. Hey, look, she's going to take this three shovel space. So she's going to move this up to three spaces. She could go to this one plant space, this two one plant spaces, or the, the three one plant spaces, just like that. Alternatively, she can spend two coins to... She could go one, spend two coins to go up here, and spend two more coins to go all the way over here, in which case she would plant one level one plant and get a garden card. Alternatively, she doesn't have to move the full movement. If she's looking for those level two plants, she could decide to just stop here. Not bad. Now, uh, if for some reason she cannot pay the two, then she can't move, and she's not going to get this bonus again until she pays two coins to move beyond. So, um, and then I'm going to get to take whatever's left. If for some reason uh, I want to place on top of where there already is a flower, I can do so, but it's going to cost me three coins for every flower I place on top of. Wow. That's really expensive. Also, uh, let's say when Steph did this three dig, she can also spend three coins to move one additional space. And she can do that for as many, uh, as many times as she wants for as many coins as she wants to spend. So when she goes one, two, three, she could spend three more coins to go here, which is much cheaper than going that way, I will say. A dollar cheaper. And then she could spend three more coins to do it again after paying two more coins for this spot so she can push herself farther and farther along this track. Once she gets to the end of the track, if there's a bonus token here, she gets it. And then she's going to reset her shovel all the way to the back. Take the next scoring token on top and place it into the available space. Notice there are three tracks here. There's the shovel track, which basically deals with putting new plants out. There is the wheelbarrow track, which often deals with watering your plants. Anytime you see a watering can, you can upgrade a plant to the next level up, um, as long as your gardener is next to it. And the gold track, obviously, is to get more gold. And there's also the cool tokens over here. There's also cool tokens, but we, we have not even talked about that yet, so I was going to hold off. Yep. So, um, so actually, what? Uh, two locations. I don't see two. Lo mm, that's not what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so uh, if for some reason I were to do this, like Steph tried to block me off, mm -hmm. and I really wanted this action, I can indeed go on top just like this. And then I am now on top of the stack. So I can then move to the next column. Once everyone's off the previous column, we can then move on to the next column. And let's say I want to go to this space. I can um, take a level two plant and then a dig action, or I can take a dig action and then plant a level two plant. So you can do these in either order. So let's say I were to do that. Uh, then the rules 
still apply as they did. Um, Steph gets to move this flower and then moves her own flower. Because it doesn't say the player who's first to take their turn in each row. Um, actually, that since now that I read this rule, it does it. It's a little a little bit vague as to who does it. Because um, if I'm there, technically I'm the first to take the turn, but that's the first to take their turn in that row. So uh, anyway, we're going to keep going as we go until we're all the way to the end. And then that's the end of the first round. Then the second round, we're going to turn all of these flowers over. In the expert version of the game, you're going to get your second gardener. Um, and we're going to then go all the way to the end again. Uh, let's say that we ended our, our turn like this. I'm going to pick these tokens up just like so. And that's how we're going to start off for the start of the second round. At the end of the second round, we're going to move everyone back here. And then for the third round, the third round, super simple. We get to take one of these actions up here. And that's it. That's the last possible thing uh, that we can do. I wanted to point out, though. Yes. When you go into the darker column and you take that bonus, anybody else who goes there doesn't get that bonus. Oh, that is a good, that is that is something good to bring up. If I like if I were to go here and take the one dig and two plant, and Steph wants to go here, she doesn't get the dig. She does only get what she sees, which is the two plant. Yeah. So that is super helpful to bring up. Thank you for that, Steph. Yep. So, um, Let me see here. Um, you are going to uh, get points based on um, filled up columns on your sheet. If you'll notice at the bottom of each of these sheets, you'll see that it says, hey, you've got three plants in this column. If all of the plants are filled, you get to score for this column. How much do you score? Well, you're going to score based on this table here. If the highest level plant in that column is a level one, meaning they're all level ones, right. you're going to get a whopping three points. But if you've got at least one level two in that column, you're going to get five. But if you have at least one level three in that column, you're getting nine. And if you have at least one level four in that column, you're getting 15. Now, you do not get 15 plus 9 plus 5 if you had a 2, a 3, and a 4. You only get the one for your highest level plant in that column. Notice I've got four columns here. They all have to be filled for all of those columns to score. And obviously, the most I'm getting is 60 points. Keep in mind that a column with five four plants is going to score exactly the same as if you had a four plant and a bunch of one plants uh, in that column as well, because you're only scoring for your highest level plant in that column. So whenever you take the animal action, you get to place one of your animals on this board. Uh, it's sort of hard to see because it's very green, but you'll see going around one animal will give you three points. Your second animal gives you an additional six points. Your third animal gives you 10 more points. Your fourth animal, 15 points. Your fifth animal, 21 points. So it really can uh, be to your benefit to uh, score a lot of animals. Now, um, that is the basic flow of how to select these actions, but I didn't tell you how to move the gardener around. Before you take your action here, you can spend uh, one coin to move your gardener one space. If I want to move my gardener three spaces, like one, two, three, that's going to cost me three coins to the bank. And you only start off with six coins. Oh, I didn't even mention that in setup. We start off with six coins. Mm -hmm. I should have mentioned that in setup. So, um, Let's see. The, the rules are written sort of in an interesting order. I want to make sure that I did not 
uh, miss anything. Uh, there One symbol. are actually, yeah, there are actions that allow you to move your gardener as an action. This allows you to move your gardener up to three spaces and it costs you no coins. That's pretty good. Um, the garden cards, uh, this is the symbol for drawing a garden card. Um, and with the garden card, you can play one garden card at the start of your turn. Um, one and only one every turn. Um, whenever you play a garden card, you can either pay coins to get its effect, or you can sell the card for three coins. So either buy the effect or get three dollars. Pretty strong. And that's for all of the garden cards. You have to pay, I believe it's two for every one of them, or uh, you can get three coins, which I think they're all worth three coins. Um, obviously, anytime you see the victory point symbol, you're going to get uh, that amount of victory points. Um, if you ever flip uh, the, if you ever get past uh, 100, then tip your gardener on his side and keep counting. So I guess on his side means it's better. 100 points better. Hmm. Um, when the prize stack is empty, uh, you no longer receive any points no from it. Um, obviously, the, this spot here is the pole position. If you place your gardener on that space, it costs you three coins. The benefit of this space is that, let's say that Steph were to go to this space and get three coins, I can place my flower on top of hers and it costs me no coins to go to these spots. So that is a special spot that does not require any. Hey, Panic. Thanks for that raid. Hope you're doing well. Paul Panic in the house. Uh -huh. What were you guys playing? We're teaching Botanicus right now. So I believe that is pretty much everything. I, I feel like I've missed a rule somewhere. Because of the order, the because of the order in which they have these rules, um, the good. with the expert variant, I'm going to flip my board. Oh, over. maybe if you choose to go fewer, you get a victory point. Oh, I did forget that. So, let's say that's that Steph decided to go one two for this three dig space. She wasted or gave up one step. If she does that, she gets one victory point for that. For every step, she gives up. So, oh, they played Mind Up and Look at the Stars for Extra Life. Nice. That's fantastic. So, uh, you also will definitely be playing with the final scoring cards. Um, what you'll want to do is to uh, shuffle them up, deal three to each player. And then uh, each player is going to select one and send two back to the stack. Hey, Cuddly, thanks for following. Thanks for following. Um, on the expert side, your gardener has three positions from which they can start. Choose one at random. Place your gardener there. You can change your mind later. Um, you'll notice that uh, some of these uh, boards do not have five rows some of them have four so you're going to take one of your special tokens and send it to the box you will also notice on the expert board that some of these spaces cost a different amount for example moving from this space to this space costs four dollars not one dollar so keep that in mind that's uh, that, that these may be a good spot to go. That may, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so whenever you're doing uh, the extra movement, you can go through those spaces without any sort of problem. Uh, some of the spaces don't have any cost at all. Mm -hmm. See that. So uh, if it has no cost, you don't have to pay anything for it. So um, instead of placing your animals, onto the game board uh, on your own personal board to score three, six, 10, 15, 21 points, mm -hmm. you are going to place them 
on these garden spots, wherever it says. And you cannot plant on these spots until you've moved the little critter away. And here's the cool thing. These critters are not worth those points anymore. They give you special abilities. Wow. Oh, Cuddly Customer loves the emotes and all the games Yay. for sure. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I should mention with final scoring cards, you get to keep one if you're playing with the base game. Whenever you're playing the expert game with the unique gardens, when you play with the unique gardens, you also get one additional final scoring card. So we get two out of three, not mm -hmm. one out of three. I guess it's one out of three if you're playing the basic side. Um, at the start of round two, you're going to get your extra gardener. And when you uh, get this gardener, you put them on any of the empty uh, fountain spaces uh, that are that don't have the other gardener already sitting on top of them. So if I've moved my other gardener down here, I probably want to start my second gardener as far away as possible because you're going to need your gardeners there. Now, let's say I did put my second gardener out there and I got something like this uh, three moves for free. I can split my movement between the two gardeners. No problem. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So keep that in mind. You can split your movement. So these guys do start on the board. Yes. Okay. The, they start in those flower beds. Yeah. And like I mentioned, you cannot even plant in those flower beds until you've moved the critter. So weird. So um, the final scoring cards, I should mention, they will score you for certain achievements. You will score these points one time for every every time you've scored this condition. Yeah. So you'll score multiples of. So for instance, there's one that shows a planted row and a six victory points on it. That means six points for each fully planted row. Wow. So that's pretty cool. I assume it doesn't count the same thing. Like I have a formation and if I make that formation, I can't use the same planted thing. Sorry. I have a formation one, so if I plant in those four, I can't then plant in the, those four. Mm. Basically unique things, I would think. But Let me look. Each plant can only be part of one square. Okay. Yeah. So in other That's words, this is a set of four. This is a set of four. Yeah. This cannot also be a set of four. four. Yep, yeah, that was my thought. Yeah. So. So. Um, As I mentioned, uh, whenever you are moving your gardener, uh, you can move both of them. Um, you just have to pay for both of them. Uh, with the animal actions, if you do the bird, then you need to place your bird here. And then every time you place an animal, from now on, you score four victory points whenever you unlock another animal. And an extra four victory points when you get a prize token. This does count. You immediately get the four points for the bird, and you get four for each animal after that that you unlock. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. Uh, with the squirrel, you immediately get, uh, well, sorry, uh, from now on, whenever one of your columns is completely filled with plants, you get six coins. Everything is up here, so you can see what you get. Um, and Steph, did, Steph and I did not play with these, so this is new to her. With the butterfly, whenever you get the butterfly, you will score victory points for each task you complete. And you'll also get uh, six points for each special task you complete. Two for basic, six for special. With frogs. With the frog, you get to unlock a new path from here down to this area here. It will give you uh, an additional end. Uh, the end space on the money track gives you a one plant and a four plant. Uh, and also it gives you a three point prize token as long as it's still available. Ah. 
So I guess that's these down here. No, as long as it's still oh, available. As long as one of these threes is available, yeah. you can get it. Interesting. And last but not least, the tortoise. Um, you immediately draw three final scoring cards and look at them. Keep one, put the other two to the bottom of the pile. You now have three final scoring cards. Uh, or if you're playing the base game, uh, you now have two final. Or if you're playing with the uh, with the basic version of the garden, you have two final scoring cards. Wow. So. Oh, no, sorry. One of the gardens gives its player two final scoring cards from the start. Sorry. I did not see that. There is something that gives you a third final scoring card. Oh, the one with four special tasks give you a gives you a second one. My mistake, everyone. Okay, that's fine. This is why uh, hopefully we will play the the more advanced version before explaining it next time, but... Yeah, that's the one that has the four tasks on it. Gives you the additional scoring card. Right. So we do only get one. We get one. And then the tortoise gives you your second one. Okay. That's and, cool. Uh, I don't see a place for the tortoise on the there. on the board. Oh, there he is. Boop. Right there. Wow. I don't so, know what to do. I know. These animals are in my way. Um, there are some other variants um, that you can include in the game. You can draft your tasks, these tasks here. If mm -hmm. for some reason you want to do something, you see that your garden is completely different from somebody else's, you maybe you could take advantage of that. Um, and uh, there is a variant where instead of choosing your final scoring cards after you've assigned your tasks, you can first draw the three cards and then assign your tasks based on your final scorings. And uh, finally, uh, the, there's a variant where whenever you get garden cards, you get to look at two and choose one mm -hmm. or three and choose one, however you like to play. That's cool. And that is hopefully all the rules. Seems like a lot. Seems like a lot. I need to assign these, and then I need to look at my final scoring cards. That's good. Well, this is a no-brainer for me. A two and a four turns into one. Uh, a two and two fours. Yeah. That seems. Seems good. Fairly good. I don't line up that great. It's kind of kind of hard to do them. I did too. We'll see. Some of these are super, super. Heavy. Especially with these animals in the way. Musky animals. Mm-hmm. So I have to keep one of these. Wow. This is an 18-point basic. <laughs> Goodness. It's 1-1 one, one and... Four twos. I gotta say, that is quite a lot. You got this. No, I don't. <laughs> 18 points. You got this. All right. I think that is gonna be how I arrange this. This is a maximum of 20 points. This is a maximum of 24 points. This is a what? maximum of 23 points. Well, it sounds like they're all rather together then. I know, so I have to decide what's best. Man, why's that squirrel got to be in my way? Yeah, for real, though. Squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. Stupid frog. I, I'm missing a frog arm. Somebody, Stupid. Somebody ate the frog arm. Um, it's important to note, you do not have to have your gardener next to the animal for the animal to uh, be taken from your board. You can take it from anywhere. Yep. Okay, so I have to discard two of these things, you say. I say. Sure, sure. These are going to get shuffled. Yes, they are. Now I'm going to look at these now that I've placed my gardener and everything. Ew. 
Let me make sure that that's what I think it is. Oh, no. I don't like that. Don't pick it. You don't pick it. You don't pick it. Mm. You don't pick it. Okay, I won't. You don't pick it. Go for a challenge, Michael. Michael, la. Uh, may I go up there instead? When do you place your gardener? Don't know. After all players have assigned their special tasks, deal the three, deal the scoring cards. So I think I've had to pick that already. Oh. Okay. I get, I get one of these. Certainly, that's better than that. Certain. I'm running out of actions. What? You, you haven't even started yet. Shuffle in, shuffle in, shuffle in, shuffle in. All right, Stephanie's. Okay. I'll put the yeah, yellow, first is... the wheelbarrow, and I'll go on no. the, the dig, dig. You dig, dig, dig. And I'm going to get three level one plants. Three level ones planted around your dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I might as well go here. <laughs> yeah, same difference, right? Same difference. So my question is the difference is you could have spent three dollars to go one further. What? You could have spent three dollars to go one more space. Why would I want to do that? If you wanted to level one plant. And spend three dollars? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. For a for a level one plant? Yeah, it's very important. Uh not that important. Yeah, we're attempting the expert game, Dan. Because we're experts. <laughs> Supposedly experts. Uh, I'm trying to get some clarification on the two-player rules, which we played it the way we thought it should be played, but now I wanted to make sure. The player who is first to take their turn places the neutral flower on a flower space of their choice, then they take their own turn. I guess that... I think we did it incorrectly, the game we played. Okay. So it doesn't matter if like it was I was it was underneath me or not. It's whoever's first to take their turn. That I guess in that column. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Unfortunately, I mean I can't really block you completely out of stuff. I don't want you to block me out. I can stuff. block you out of the the one dig. Wanted to dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. I'm going to go here. I'm going to draw a garden card. And you got an animal. And I got my first animal. Oh, man. That's important. I will release my bird right off the bat. That's four points and then more for more birds. Yeah. And then you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to spend $2 to move my my dude. $2 to move what? Sorry. Oh, yeah, that. I'm going to go to the watering can. I think that's a two. So. Oh, I can't do that. Um, I can't do that. You also get a one plant. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to. Okay. Red. I'm going to plant You take back your turns more on this game than any game I've ever seen. <laughs> I forgot to put a one. It makes a difference. Yes, it does. I'm putting the one here and I'm yeah. watering it. That's a good plan since you can do them in either order. I need pink in that row. I need yellows in this row. So. Yes. So you don't want to you don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, you never have to move that squirrel. No. You never have to touch him. You can let him just roll yeah, around in the there forever. Yeah, he can stay there all all day long. And then you get to move the neutral. Whoa. 
I need to kill a frog. What? I know. Why is he in your way? He is in your way. He's like so in my way. He is like completely in your way. Agreed. He is so far in your way. Yeah. Hmm? All right. I'll put the yellow on the... Three wagon. Yellow on the three wagon. And then you are going... On the... Mm. Mm. Where was I going? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Can't answer that one because I don't know. Yep. I'm going to go on the dig one space. Dig, 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 dig. Dig one space. Or... No, I'll go on the money two space. Money two space. Here. Change again? Nope, I'm going to go there. I'm going to spend $3 to go an extra step. So, one. Down track. Two, three. And I get one of these lovely cards and $2. After spending three. I did spend three, yeah. Yikes. Wow. Seems expensive. Yeah. This is a game that you need money. Yes, yes it is. This is a game where you need money. The frog is a, a pest. I'm going to go here and take my 1-1. One, one. Oh, and I could play a garden card. I should play that first then. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play that garden card for... cost me two coins. I get two twos. I mean, two. it seems really good. It is really good. It seems really, really good. Kill the frog. And I get my one plant. Trying to put down here. Sounds good. And then, and then nothing, because that's gone. That's the end of my turn. Yep. Then next. Now it's your turn. So <laughs> they say. Um, you do not get additional victory points for wasting gardener steps that you don't take. True. Just so people know. All right, I'm going to move him on to the money bag space. Money bags. I'm going to place myself on three coins and... I'm going to move my turtle so I can get me another victory point thing. I draw three, keep one. Yep. Draw three, keep one. And you get the this. And the this? Or, oh, I do get one of these? I think so. That's okay. what it shows. You also draw a garden card. I need to look at these. I'm a little jealous of yours because you said it's worth 20 and 24 and 27 and all sorts of other things. I didn't say that high. I said 20, 20 wow. 24. Douglas. Wait, which I can't. I gotta kill a frog. <laughs> Sacrifice a frog. That's what I'm saying. What are my things? It's your turn. I know. I'm just gonna take Boo. this and three points. It's a week. This and three points. Yeah. And then. I get three true. points. Oh, yeah. That's important. Yeah, I thought it might be. Um, I think I like the basic game better, Dan. I'm going to put the yellow there. Yellow at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go to the wheelbarrow. Mm-hmm. And go kill a frog. 
That's, I get a point. And a point because you wasted a spot. One on frog. Some of those frog legs for dinner. Oh, you want that four. What for? No, I want the frog out of my hair. And the four. Well, now it's headed that way, so yeah. Not a bad idea. Me too. Well, that does me not a bit of good. It does me not a bit of good. I like that you're forced to move the animals. So, I disagree with Dan. You can choose not to. But it's to your benefit, too. Yes. You don't have to do columns, because columns are whatever. Whatever. I mean, it's baby points. It's not like you're adding up every token in the column, which is a better score. <laughs> Goodness. I don't see how I'm going to be able to get a lot of anything this game. Five bucks. Five bucks. Better than three bucks. I guess. And then me. How are they at least 30% of your scores? I feel like our scores are not 30%. It was not 30%. I have to look now. Were you doing it right? You go here. Uh, Michael scored 167 and I scored 130. And my my column scoring was like... Oh, I didn't get four points for putting my second animal on. It's not much. There was no way it was 30% of our score. Maybe in the advanced game? Do you remember? What? What we scored for our columns? Because it, there's no way it was 30% of our score. Um, you had, I believe, 444. Four, four, or three of them. You scored, I think you scored... Four, 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 three. Yeah. Or four, three, three, three. Which, how many points is that? Yeah, you did have three fours. 45, okay. 54. I guess it was. That is 30%. It is more than I thought. Okay. Well. You? I know. Making sure you knew. This. I get a one and it grows up to be a two. Whoa. Boom. And then. Oh. I did not do that right. I'm going to take this back. I'm going to put this guy out. That's better. Okay. Did you get. Did you fix the points? Uh, yeah. Because I get it for anything, any animal I put. Right, but you didn't you take a, a, a this? A turtle? Turtle's out. Well. Oh, he's out. Yeah, yeah. I did butterfly, and then I'm like, no, no butterfly, frog. Frog, yeah, yeah. Got it. Well, barrel. No, but. No. Yep. Not good. Great. It's not great. Um. Put a squirrel in my way. Whoops. This here, and I'll go here. Yay! I'm gonna 
go to here. Getting an extra point. Yes, but I also have to spend a dollar to move. See it through. Sorry. Oh, uh, that. A one and a four. And a three point token. So. Three points and 10 points is 13 points. 13 and five is 18. And then I go to the front of the line again. Mm hmm. Well, there's only four columns in the basic game. Yes, there are four columns. 15, 30, 45, 60. I'm thinking with where I am. I think I need to twin you. I think I might need to twin you. First spend a dollar to move. Then jump on top. Cost me three. One. Two, I get a one and a four. I get three and four is seven for the bird. Place my one here, place my four here. I have a two and a four for 12 points, 21, 31. Keep looking at that. They still don't change. Now time for my next turn. Oh, and I got a point for wasting a spot. For wasting a movement. Mm -hmm. I need a three. Spend a coin or a move. I think I will do that and this, giving me a garden card and a three. What do I want? Do I want to do? Yeah, I do. Spending two bucks. Actually, spending four bucks because I want to go here. Mm. Yeah, that's good. It doesn't suck. <laughs> Might as well knock that out while I'm here. And uh, now the three. 
I have the one and the three worth eight points. Me. Get you. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to move my guy. Go here. Get this two. Three bucks. And very important three dollars. I am poor. All right, flip these over. Oh my goodness. Take your second gardener. Feel like I got nothing done. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me. No, no, no. Did you put your second? Yeah, oh, you did. Yeah. You did. Sorry. Make sure you put him. Expensive. Oh, I already got that. Two. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, I, I got a. I'm supposed to get a point for wasting a spot. That was a two dig. Oh. I took one. Sure. Um, spend one money to move. Yes. I'm going to put the yellow on the two wagon, and then I'll go on the three spot. Two diggy. I have to spend two dollars to go. One, two. And then here. Two and three. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, guess what? what? Three bucks. Seems good. I don't want to do this. This seems awful expensive. All right, next round. Move him here, move me down there, take a garden card. my credit anytime I fill columns six six bucks hmm. okay I will did I, pick? I will take the and four points for doing that oh. for bird I'll take the five dollar and three free movement one, two. Okay. Did it. That was me. Um, oh, it's you. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, well, I will pay $2 to use this card, which is two watering. So this will become green that's one water and this these digs are made you don't have to play it that said your gardener is indeed there Wasted, but is what it is. Okay. So I will go to the 
one dig space. One diggity dig. And I'll block the three wagon, I guess. So one dig will put me here. No. 12 points get you 30. Uh, yeah, I needed it. You did. Somehow I've got to catch you. Want that for seven? I think I do. You got tons of money. I'm gonna need tons of money. Mm. Mm. You're first. Okay. Well, I'll take the two bag and I will put the yellow on the to wheelbarrow. Okay. So I get to remove an animal and go two bags. I don't know where you're going. I know. I'll go to the... I'll go to five bucks. You'll go to five bucks. And I will get an animal, which will be this turtle, which gets me one of these. And I draw. Mm, sorry, three. What? Yes, three. I'll just keep one. That's all we need of those. Oh, sorry, I did that at some point. What's that? Eleven points. Are you worried about catching me? Was. Put them on bottom in case it matters. I don't think it will. I guess I'll take this crappy action here and water this thing to a two. Which may it may not matter. I can get three points. That is me. So I'll block the dig. No, I need the dig. I'll block the wheelbarrow. any of these options. <laughs> I hate it. I don't like it. Running out of actions. That's what's scary. For four. Moving here. I think I'll cover that. 
and go down to the I don't like any giving you any of these actions. I'm a good person. No, I know, I know, that's what you say. <laughs> that's what I believe. I know you believe it. That costs two bucks. Four bucks. Oof. I get a victory point for wasting one. I have completed two columns. I get 12 bucks for that. That's cool. That's cool. I guess I'm going to the wheelbarrow space. You go to the wheelbarrow. You do I'm up to two, two wheel spaces. How about that? I'm going to turn these greens into blues. And I fulfill a bunch of things. Mm -hmm. I see uh, 26 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, 47 becomes 67. And then I immediately do this one too. Right. Okay. I don't, I don't, uh, can you back that one off? You did that. And then when you cover it, you get the next, and that's another nine. 66, 76. Wow. Wow, I say. Wow. No, I said wow, not wow. Then you. Thinking, processing. Wow, it blew right past. Yeah. That was a dumb little part. I think I'm going to play this. Two dollar. I get two of these. And then I'm going to spend a dollar to move. What? What? You... How did you plant? This cart? Oh. One more dollar to move. I'm double check the order on that. Okay. I do not like how the rule book is laid out, I gotta say. In either order, got it. All right, let me know when you're done. Yeah. I'll be going here. I'm getting two pink. And then I complete this for 12 points. Got it? Yes. Are you done now? Done. All right. Hmm.
I don't like any of these. I don't have a good place to put the uh, three. I forgot to mention in the rules, if I want to plant a four on top of this, I can just removing the thing you've got already there. But you must do the basic before you do the special. That's important. Two, three, four cost. Or I just do it right here. Not my favorite. Mm. Um, that's a this is for eleven. Want to even do this? Should probably do it at some point. I would have done this at the start of my turn. He wouldn't he would not have been here. I think I will just wait. Running out of turns. Uh yeah, me too. I mean we. Yeah, me Did too. You? I don't know what to do. And one to go down here. I am going to put this here and go here. Hmm. Stay here and spend three instead of going there. I'll go one, two, and get two upgrades. That's seven points. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> we. Hmm. We're going to what's out there. Gets me a two. Five points. 
and nine points. Ooh. I've completed a column for six dollars. Nice. I technically I could have spent two to get to bypass and get a victory point. Yeah, I might as well. Because it's usually three get you a victory point. Yeah. I might as well cheaper do that. to do that. It's slightly slightly cheaper, assuming I've got the money and I that probably have tons the money. Of money. Now for my action action. Mm. Three gold. I get two for wasting sp two spaces. Yep. You get three for that. I get seven for that. Seven for that. Wow. I get a one and a four. Yep. The one goes up here. That gives me nine points. The four goes right here. This completes a column for six bucks. Oof. And those animals. Me and those animals. And then I'm back. Okay. So me. So you. I'm going to spend one to move this guy. Okay, I'm just not going to get that. I'm going here for two green. This is going to go here. Two green. I got this 13 points. Dang, Steph. You ruined me. I had to try. No, you did it. I'm not doing any more columns, I don't think. I don't think the double watering is going to help me any. If I get the garden card, I should probably spin this one somehow. Two, three, four, five, six. For six, I can go anywhere I want. Or I just could do this. For two, I'll station my guys just in case. Four, eight. No, because I can't I can't get three things that I want. 
You don't know that, but yeah. I don't know that. If you get a card, you might get what you want, but yeah, it's Correct. tough to know. The three coins. I'm going to move five. One, two, three, four, five. Everywhere I want to try to be. Mm -hmm. Garden card in three. Good luck. Good luck, mate. And then me. Doesn't matter about that because all we're doing is taking one extra action. I can do it. What? Boo. Yep. I can do it. Oh. No, you don't want to hear it. Nope. Yeah, those those uh gardener cards are pretty good. This is worth 18. If I can put a four down at the bottom and get three of these, that's worth 15 and 10 is 25. Yeah. And of course, all four of these would be worth a... Lots of points. 1.5 billion. <laughs> and I have a wheelbarrow. Oh. Which will give me, it'll give me a one, but I, I can't get three things. I can get to, I can get to this for a one, but I can't get, I could go here and spend one, two, th I spend nine bucks to get a one and a four. Yeah. So it would be a one one four right here, basically. That is worth fifteen and two more for the six dollars. Basically. Not near any things to water. I'd have to water my one to a two immediately. Oh, I would immediately. Oh, no, that's two fours. Yeah, I can't do two fours. No, but you could do the 18. I think only the 18 is the thing. Get the one and a pair of twos. One here, a two here, which gets that. And a two here. Yeah, I'm just not going to get the other column. I was looking for a way to get another column. One becomes two. That's a two there. One four, I would not fill it up. You'd want to put the four at the bottom anyway. Because you get you get the ten points. But put a one and a four. Yeah. I could do that. Yep, I think that's gonna be the I think that's the thing to do. Here's the wheelbarrow two. 
That's, yeah, two bucks. Did I spend the three? I thought, oh, two? I don't, so. I don't think I, I'm not two. certain. That's the two. One watered becomes two. And then my one action is to go one space here and paying three, six, nine. He's rich with tons of money. I got, I got us. Bills, yo. Bunch of dollar dollar bills. That's a one and a four. That's a one and a four. One and four is ten. This is 18. 98. 108. 116. 98. 108. Yes. Uh, I don't have that, don't have that, don't have that, don't have that. No specials. Right, so, what does the butterfly do? What does the butterfly do? It gives you plus two for every basic when you do it, and Ooh, plus six. I'm very sure. From then on. Uh, well, that's too bad. From now on, you score extra victory points for each task you complete. I thought about doing it, but then I didn't get to it. I just don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, I misread my card. Well, does that <laughs> yeah. change your last turn? You no, know, I'm just, I'm screwed. I'm fairly sure. Yeah. <laughs> screwed! I, I thought it, I thought I get points for basics. No, I get points for specials. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I... I couldn't do that. And then in, in the middle of the turn, override it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Too bad. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can do, so I'll just take this hummingbird off for four points. I'm moving this up. Yeah. Oops. You can't do anything more than a four point move? No, unless you see something, but I don't see anything. Um, yeah, you're out of money. Yep. And that's why. Okay. All right. Um, so I get seven points for this. Okay. 16 and seven is 23. I get four for each animal. So that's 16, 29, 39. You got yours. One point for each space. So four, eight, 10, 13, 15, 17, 18. Yep. 24. 18, hold on. 18 is 30. And 24 for blocks of four. Wow, those go so well together. Well, I had that one, and then I drew that one. Yeah, I'm jealous that you had that one, because uh, mine were obviously not that good. I had the 12 point, and I'm like, surely I can make two of these. And no, I did not. I got one. Well, you misread. You misunderstood it. So. No, I, I I think I knew it when I kept it. I don't think I remembered it at the near the end. Yeah, that's too bad. So I get nine and fifteen and fifteen and nine. Huh? Oh, it's it. twelve. These are nines. No, look at your board. Where on my board? Oh, up here. Oh, they're different. Yeah. Yours are much better than Never mine. mind. 12 and 17 is 29. And I've got a 12 and 17 and a 12 and 17. So that's 29 and 29 is 58. Go back two and it's 60. So that's 97. 197. You get a four. A four. One, two, three, four. Uh, a ten. A ten. Fifty-eight becomes sixty-eight. Fourteen. 
One, two, three, four. Seventy-two becomes eighty-two. Fourteen. Fourteen. Eighty-six. Ninety-six. That's it. What? One point difference. Well, you can't say the boards aren't it's balanced. Got a ton of money. Oh, I didn't even I remember that. Money. 5, 10, 15, 18, 21 is, and look, two more dollars left. So the the little maneuver I did there didn't matter. So uh, 21 is seven points. Okay, well, not one point, eight points. Yeah. What'd you I get? thought you had me, 204 to 196. I thought you had me all day running. No, I didn't have anything I could do in the last turn that made different and i was like so. yeah i'm done and i'm petered out and mm -hmm. then you said four and i'm like four <laughs> the, only, the only thing we do is stop you from getting these tiles uh and, that and hope that was a this is what i needed i'm like i know There's no way you'll take that yeah you took it yeah of course because i can see your board has a lot of empty spaces <laughs> i'm like who wants these plants <laughs> I wanted it just for this, if nothing else. I'm like, oh, my goodness. But all of these extra little bonus tokens you picked up with the bonus four points, that was just, like, killer for me. You just kept getting them, and I'm like, oh, I should have tried harder to take them away from you. Yeah. Because you got, like, 12 extra points from that with your hummingbird. No, 16 points. You only have three tokens over there. Sorry? You only have three tokens over there. Three tokens over where? These tokens. You're getting plus four. Oh, for those. you're talking about the twelve for those. I thought you meant the hummingbird. Get those from you. Yes. I should have done that. Well, I mean, it was only twelve points. Yeah, well, twelve points. Twelve points made the difference. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. So I like the asymmetric boards. Yeah. So I'm glad that we tried it. Yeah. I like. You didn't even know you're scoring different points for things. I was. I was. I didn't. It. I didn't remember. I was going by the basic side where you score 15 for fours and nine for threes, and I'm like, Yeah. Okay, I got a 15 and a nine. You're like, What? I'm like, What? What? <laughs> yeah, Michael did win. I it was win. close. I did not. I didn't think it was going to happen. I really thought I was going to win that one. I thought you were going to win that I one, too. lost out on um, the end there. On just the last of, turn. There's nothing I could really do. I am shocked. I'm shocked. Even if I had extra money to boost something, there was nothing for me to do. Like, even if I could have boosted one of these tracks... Yeah, because you, I mean, you were just out of money. I intentionally tried to make you out of money, too. Well, yeah, but um, I, I, I was out of money the first game, too. I just. Well, yeah, you spend money. Like, like the goal cards. I love the goal cards. Yeah, we didn't play with those the first time. I don't know why, but we should have. <laughs> well, I wanted just the basic experience. But... Yeah, but. Um, goal now, cards. It's fun. <laughs> now, that's not to say that the basic game is bad. No. It's just. It's really good. It's symmetrical. Uh, these are the same on every basic side board. Right. So you you don't have any variation in that at all. Well, you have. And as Dan said, you know, it could end up being samey over time. Um, still, everything is still going to be different based on oh, how yeah. the board is set up. That a lot. I actually. like that I a lot. Because I think it's really good. Anything that has tiles that changes the layout of the board, that makes a game have longevity. Um, you well, also that. these these change up too. So Abs yeah, yeah that's all of these makes it different for players. Even makes the basic side different because you've got different special tiles. Right. And when I dealt mine out um, initially, I was like. I can't. I, I thought they were where they, where they, where you dealt them out was where they stayed. I didn't realize that you could choose them. And there was a four on a three row. And I'm like, you can't do that. And then, I'll, oh, you can choose which one to do. Surprise, you played it three times with basic. You didn't want to try the advanced board, or you did. And you played it a fourth time. <laughs> I, I like the advanced board. I think it was pretty good. I like the, 
the different layouts. I like the different scoring for players. All of that. Wow. Well, I thought I like I thought... the different starting stuff on the side. I don't know. I think I like the the advanced a little bit better, but yeah. Uh, played the basic three times and expert once. Well, if if Dan plays it four times, you know there's got to be some goodness there, right? Well, for sure. If you play anything four times, because it's really a good sign. Well, Dan, <laughs> I, I, I love Dan's rule. Dan's rule applies. A game has to be enjoyable the first time in order to play it a second, third, or fourth time. Clearly, this meets Dan's <laughs> enjoyability threshold. That's true. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Yep. I I think that's good. Dan says, uh, I don't know if I like that certain strategies appear to be blocked off. I don't know what, what strategies he, get blocked off. He doesn't like off. that you have to get animals out of here. Uh, well, you don't have to. You can leave them there and just not get those columns. I missed out on two columns that game. Two of what you missed out on two columns as well. <laughs> yep. So, I mean, but if you look at the animal strategy on the other side, it's super strong. I'm like, oh, it's not that great. And then Michael's like, animal, animal, animal on the last, like, three turns. I, I, I got, like, a whole bunch of points. Big points. Keep in mind, it's not 21 points. It's three and, and six. six and, and uh, yeah, it's it's cumulative. Yeah, and that's so a lot of points. And then... How much is that? 20, um, 21, 31, 41, 46. That's a lot of points. That, so Dan was saying you can get 60 points with columns. You get 55 with critters. And that's five actions. 55. If you can get the five actions to do that. If you can plant five, uh, four columns <laughs> in five actions, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... You know. I mean, animals are strong, period. Don't let someone have animals. Yeah. But then the same could be said. Don't let someone have garden cards. Uh, don't <laughs> let someone have money. Don't let yeah. someone have the four spot. Uh, or the the three spot down in the bottom corner. You know, it. all of that applies. So, yeah, but you also need the flowers for the goals. Sure. It's true. My board, I could do... All of the goals except for one without removing the animals. There's one line I couldn't have done the goal oh, because yeah. there were two animals. Otherwise, I could have done the four others without removing animals. So I was thinking maybe I should have avoided my top row. That's what I did. I avoided the bottom row and not worried about those animals at the beginning of the game. And the only problem is you can't get columns with that. But then again... Those, I, those are, four you know, columns. Exactly. So four of the six columns. And the cool thing is on these middle ones here, I need what two and three for columns. Yeah, I needed. Yeah. So eh. you needed two and three for these and three for that column. Yeah, but I didn't have the hummingbird. Up. I had a two and a three and a two. In that way, they're sort of similar. Those the boards. I like anyway. the back of the board too because you can get that four. If you have your frog, yes. Yeah, if you get the frog out. So there's a lot of good things in this there's game. A I really lot like of good it. things. So for me, it's probably a keeper, at least for now. Yeah, there was a game that I like it a lot. Yeah, I remember there was a game that we played at BGG Spring or Fall with Eric. That it was really similar with regards to. Um, the one on top in one round gets to choose where they go for the second round. And the weaker actions are at the top and the stronger actions are at the bottom. Yeah. Can't remember the name though. I'll think about it. I'll remember as soon as and it's then, done. And then, <laughs> and then she'll post it in the comments. But uh, if you enjoy games um, that have the, the rotating action selection, then yes. with a really good, um, Neutral player mechanic, I think. Uh, then you will enjoy Botanicus from Queen Games. Oh, no. From I mean, Gluck. Sorry. Not Queen Games. Hans and Gluck. Like, no, that's wrong. No, sorry. <laughs> my fault, Hans. Oh, good. My fault. Hans and Gluck. Hans and Gluck. I love their game. We, we just did a game from Queen. That's why I, it was on my mind. 
from Hans and Gluck. Yeah. So always check out Hans and Gluck games. No, nope, we have to do the video again. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to check it out and everything else. That's right. Um, so yeah, you can find us uh, find all our videos on YouTube uh, at Board Gamer Stuff. And then we stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Saturday. TV slash Board Gamer Stuff. Or give the URL. Twitch.tv slash Board Gamer Stuff <laughs> every uh, Sunday and Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream 30 games. Or more. Or more. Tonight we did four. Every single stream. So, yes. So, come join us on Twitch where we play all the all games. games. <laughs> oh, hey, my son just entered the chat. Woo-hoo. And with that, uh, if you're on uh, with us on Twitch, we'll be right back. Yep, we'll be right back. <laughs>